Hello. I know it's unusual for me to knock on your door at the end this late, but there's something I really want to talk to you about before our battle. Can I come in? Thank you. It's still hard to believe that after all those years, we are finally raiding the Red Dragon's lair. That we can finally put an end to all the misery and the fear he's been spreading throughout the kingdom. Scared? You think I'm scared? Come on, it's like you don't even know me. Stop giving me that look. <sighs> fine, fine. I might be slightly afraid. Who wouldn't be in a situation like this? But I've already accepted that some of us could die tomorrow. Even with all the allies our group gathered and all of those magical artifacts, we are still fighting against the odds. I'm well aware of that. I guess dying as a hero isn't the worst death a warrior like me can get, though, is it? Having your name sung about in bardic songs throughout the land. But what about you? You're still so young for a wizard, and I know you still have so much you want to study and get to know about. Are you sure you want to take this risk? We are all together on this, huh? I see. It's good to hear that. Still, this is not what I came here to talk about. I think I started rambling a bit. What I actually wanted to say is... Uh, um, I want to ask you something. And it's not the type of question you would expect to hear from me, so be prepared. As you've certainly noticed by now, I usually wear my armor all the time. The cleric likes to say I'm too paranoid, but I'd rather think I like to be prepared for anything. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> the point is, now you are seeing me here wearing only my sleeping garments. Do you think I look less scary like this? I mean, without all the metal plates and that sword that's bigger than the average person? You never thought I was scary? That's really sweet, but you don't need to lie to make me feel better. I always overhear people talking about how they are afraid of me. Also, I know I'm a very big woman and a bit of a brute as well. I have that big scar on my cheek from that time when the orc slashed me with an axe, too, and you get it. Not the most pleasant to look at in general. Beautiful? Me? Do you really think that? I, I, I don't know what to say. I'm... <sighs> okay, I can't keep this secret anymore. Our party has been traveling together for years, yet each day that passes, I can't help but notice you more and more. How intelligent you are. The way you're always so focused and dedicated to your studies. But at the same time, so kind and always glad to help anyone in need. And how each time I'm sure we are completely doomed, you come up with a crazy plan and use your magic to save everyone's ass. <laughs> Every time I see you talking about magic, even though I can't understand a single word. You look so happy and excited that I just sit there quietly admiring you. I'm, I'm just completely in love with you. Honestly, I don't even know when I started to feel like this. I try to think back and I can't remember a single day since we met in that tavern near Baldur's Gate that I wasn't in love with you. For the mercy of tear, will you say something? I know this is a lot, but I really had to tell you before tomorrow. I can't stand the possibility of never seeing you again without confessing my feelings first. I'm sorry if this is too selfish, and it's completely fine if you don't feel the same for me, really. After all, I'm aware I'm too tall, bulky, and rough for a woman, and I'm not the most feminine person out there, and... Wait, what did you say? 
lean down. But why would you ask? <gasps> that. <sighs> Wait, does that mean? Does that mean you feel the same? Wow, I... Never mind, just come here. This whole time I've been thinking you'd never be attracted to someone like me. Why haven't you just told me before? Things could have been so much easier. You were afraid of the same thing. <laughs> How ironic life can be. Well, you should have known that it doesn't matter that you're fragile or how small you are compared to me. Actually, I really like that. You look so vulnerable, but at the same time, you exude an air of power and mystery. And it really makes me crazy for you. <laughs> Believe me. Everything about you makes me feel things that even the most potent magic couldn't. We have even traveled throughout the plains together. And I can assure you that you are the sexiest person in all of existence to me. And now, you're finally mine. I can <clears throat> pin you against the wall like this and kiss you as much as I want. <clears throat> <sighs> you, you definitely took that a lot further than I expected. <sighs> That was, um, amazing, really. <sighs> Ooh, more than I could even imagine. <sighs> Are you sure this isn't a dream? <laughs> um, I always thought I would be so embarrassed if you ever saw me like that, but I don't. I just, I feel so happy. And I'm um, tired. <laughs> mm, come here, darling. Oh, be my little spoon and let me cuddle you for the rest of this night. As we prepare for what's to come. Mm. Mm. hero. I think I've changed my mind about that. We'll still fight. Of course we will. But I'll get every last bit of my resolve to ensure we both survive. I will survive for you, and please make sure you survive for me. I'm certain we'll have more than enough gold from the Dragon's Hoard to retire from adventuring and live a happy life together. What do you think? You can still have your studies, and we can travel around Faerun together and just appreciate the good parts we never could before. I know this may be asking too much, but I... Really? <laughs> I'm so glad. And we can have many more nights like this one, of course. <laughs> we do need to rest, though. I'll hold you tight and run my fingers through your hair like that until you fall asleep. <sighs> so lovely to feel you snuggled up on my chest and under my arm. Actually, it's even kind of funny. Knowing that one moment you're going to make me moan and scream like that, and right after that you're here... Like a little boy using me as his big pillow. <laughs> I just want to protect you and make you happy, my dear. That's what I've wanted for all this time. I love you, my little wizard. I really, really love you.
My love, where are you? You're still here, right? Say something, please. I won. I defeated the dragon. For you. Please, dear. Please don't tell me he's... <gasps> Wait, I think I heard something moving. It's you. You're... You're alive. Oh, I'm so glad you're alive. My heart shatters just by thinking about something bad happening to you. No, 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 don't try to move. You're hurt, and your arm is a little burned. I'll pick you up. It's fine, my dear. Everything's fine now. I'm here for you. Here, drink this. It's only a minor healing potion, but that's all we have left. Don't worry about my injuries. For me, it's just another scar, and I could withstand an injury to keep you safe. I've saved this for you. Please look in my eyes now. Don't try to speak. Don't try to move. Don't try to look around. Just keep looking at me. You're safe in my arms, my love. I'll explain everything that happened a little later. First, we need to get out of here and go somewhere safe. Well, we've arrived, finally. The innkeeper saw us hurt like this and offered a free room for the night. It's not something I would accept normally, but in this situation, I had to. It's a small inn in a small town, but it's very comfy. A place like this makes me miss our old days as lowly adventures, so full of dreams and aspirations. <laughs> Here, I'll lay you on the bed. You need to rest, my love. I'll just finally take this armor off first. Oh, so much better. Your arm probably still hurts a lot, though. I think I can try to patch you up with some bandages. I'm not exactly a field medic, but I'll do what I can to make you feel better. Does it feel a little better? I'm glad. No, the cleric won't be able to heal you this time, my love. She's, um... They're not with us anymore. You and me were the only survivors. I'm so sorry. I wasn't able to protect everyone. <sighs> All right. I will not blame myself for it. I knew you'd say that. Put your head on my lap. I'll stroke your hair and tell you the whole thing now. You deserve to know it. The last thing you probably remember is when the dragon was going to breathe fire at our party and you raised a magic wall to hold it back. You saved everyone. Again. But then he got you and threw you into one of the walls of the cave, and that's when you passed out. My urge at that moment was just to leave everything behind and check if you were safe, but I couldn't. I had my duty. From there, everything went downhill. The dragon was hurt, but so were we. One by one, people started falling. The ranger, the thief, the cleric, who would be able to save everyone, the soldiers who offered to come with us. Eventually, it was just me. I would have probably given up and let him kill me at that moment if it wasn't for you, for the promise I made you. I thrust my sword inside the dragon's mouth as a desperate last attempt as he was just about to bite me, and I passed out from my injuries right after. I couldn't even see the bastard falling. I thought it was dead, to be honest. But eventually I woke up, and the only thing I could think and do after was desperately looking for you. It was... a nightmare, really. But it was worth it, because you were still there, and you're still here with me now. You're... you're the only thing I have left. As long as I have you, I know I can be happy. I, I'm sorry. I know I should be strong and not cry, but... I just love you so, so much. And now it's finally over. We don't need to constantly risk our lives anymore. We can just... be together. And I hope that makes you as happy as it makes me. Also, don't worry, 
I know we didn't have the time to look much into the dragon's hoard, but when we were leaving, I took this. This stone is a powerful magical artifact. Even I can feel that just by touching it. I'm sure we can sell this for more gold than we'll ever need in our lives. Shh, I'll take care of all that later, sweetheart. Don't worry about it. Now, I just want to lie down with you and hold you tight like this. You look so gorgeous in my arms, exactly where you belong. <laughs> my little wizard. I'm sorry, I know you're hurt, but I just want to kiss you so much. Mm. some innocent kisses and cuddles, but apparently that's not what you want right now, is it? <laughs> mm, you still shouldn't make too much effort now. So just lie back and let me take care of you tonight. Would you like that, my love? <laughs> I knew you would. <laughs> just a little tired. <laughs> oh, <laughs> come closer again. You can lay your head on my breast if you want. It won't hurt me. I just want to hold you again. Mm. Mm. should probably make a worthy place to have our friends rest after our injuries get better, but I'm trying to see the bright side of things for once. I know they would be happy to know that they died freeing the innocent people of the kingdom and that we managed to finish our mission. Also, this is the start of a new life for you and me. I'll go to the capital tomorrow to sell that stone. Then I can finally put my sword to rest once and for all and hold you like this every single night. <laughs> I still think this feels like a dream, but I know it isn't. And that makes me so happy. I never thought I'd be happy like this in my life, but that's what I was lacking all this time. You. Good night, my love. Good morning. I haven't seen you sleeping that much in a long time. <laughs> don't, don't try to get up. You still need to take it easy. Here, look at me. I have to go to Waterdeep to do our business with the artifact now. I know you're going to ask go with me. Please don't. You still need the rest. This town is a heavily guarded area, so I'm sure you'll be safe here. Don't worry about me. What kind of road thug would look at me and think it's a good idea to attack? Besides, I'm still going to put some lighter armor and bring a short sword with me if that makes you more comfortable. The only thing I want you to do now is let the rest of your wounds heal, okay? I promise I'll be back this night, at most. And then you don't need to worry about me going anywhere. I'll be here with you for as long as you want. Okay. I love you. See you again soon.
prayer for me. I knew you would come. I knew you would find me somehow and save me. I was... I was so scared. <laughs> Just hold me for a minute. <laughs> Thank you. But... Wait, how did you get here? I'm sure this place was full of guards and assassins. Are you sure we're not still in danger? You... You, you killed them? All of them? How's that even possible? You were hurt before you even got here. And since when can you do these things? I don't think I've ever seen you use magic to hurt people before. I don't think I've seen you that angry before. Not even close. When you entered this room, your hands were shaking and your eyes looked like you were burned the world down if something had happened to me. <sighs> I know you'll always be here for me. I don't even need to say that after what you've just done now. But please, can we get out of this place? It's starting to make me really uneasy. I can explain what happened a little later. I just really need a warm bed now. We need to find the stone first, though. This can't be all for nothing. Oh, you already found it too? Thank God. Can we go now, please? Alright, I'll hold your hand. I can finally lay down and... <gasps> oh, no. I'm not hurt, don't worry. It was all very scary, but I know I'm safe now. I'm here with you, my love. Actually, I should tell you what happened. Come here, my love, and lie on top of me. <laughs> you know how I've always been a little paranoid before, always looking over my shoulder, expecting trouble everywhere? Well, I had my reasons for it. But after we were done with the dragon, I think the prospect of living a peaceful life with you and not having to worry about anything else blinded me. It was very foolish of me to go alone with something of so much value in my hands. When I was getting somewhere near the city, I was ambushed by a large group of thieves. I'm pretty sure I could have broke those weaklings' necks with my bare hands, but they were using magic. There wasn't much I could do about it. When I woke up, I was already restrained before I even knew what had happened. They weren't lowly thugs, either. Apparently, the dragon didn't find that stone randomly lying around somewhere. It used to belong to Zenthar's guild before he took it. And now they wanted it back. You know about my past before I became a hero. I know how these things work. If I told them I didn't know anything about the stone and just found it on the dragon's hoard, they would kill me on the spot to get rid of any possible evidence. So I had to pretend I was working for another guild. This way, they would at least want me for information. It really wouldn't solve my problem. But at least it would buy time. I did this because I never stopped believing you would come for me. Somehow I knew you were desperately looking for a way to find me, and I was right. People say wizards arrive exactly when they need to. And that's what you've done, my love. You saved me, my hero. Hmm. I love you. You know, death was never something that scared me before. I just saw it as an eventual consequence of what I do. But now, I don't think I've ever been so scared of getting hurt or dying like I was today. And I know exactly the reason for that, my love. I never really had anything to live for in the past, but now I do have something, or better saying, someone. <laughs> Thank you so much for saving me, for showing me what truly loving and caring about someone means, for everything. It's even a little funny, I'm so much bigger than you, but you make me feel 
so safe when you're on top of me with your arms around me and your face so close. And uh, I know I might not look or sound or act like one, but I can be your princess too. <laughs> Sure, you didn't put some kind of charm spell on your lips um, when you start kissing me like this. I can't even try to resist. <laughs> also, all right, I have to admit it. <laughs> Since I've known you, you've always been so calm and gentle, always avoiding violence. I even got mad at you for this sometimes. <laughs> Because of this, seeing the way you got so angry when you found out what happened to me, knowing I'm the reason for that, and that I'm your weakness, it was so romantic and so sexy. My hero. Hmm. just thinking to myself here, my love. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll ever be safe in this place. No, I don't mean in this town or near water deep. I mean in this entire region of Faerun. We already had a lot of enemies before, but now we also have an entire guild of these after us. And they have eyes everywhere. If we really want to live our dream, I think we need to go north. Way north. It's going to take months to get there. We'll have to be very low profile and still find somewhere to sell this thing along the way. It's not going to be easy by any means, but... Are you willing to do that for me? For us? <laughs> I'm glad you are my little wizard. For now. Let's enjoy the last moments of comfort and warmth we'll have for a pretty long time. Tomorrow morning we'll have to depart and leave everything behind. But it'll be worth it in the end. I know it will. <laughs> mm. I love you so much. The snow is getting worse, isn't it? It's even hard to see the path ahead. Oh my love, you're shaking so much. You'll get me worried like this. Mm. My poor Sword Coast boy isn't used to the weather in the north, is he? Come here, I know exactly what can help you. Yes, close to me. I'll put my arms around you from behind and see. Isn't that comfy? There's more than enough room for you inside my cloak. One of the advantages of being my little wizard. <laughs> mm, I know it's a little hard to walk like this with all the snow, but I can feel that we're close. Just a little more, I promise. How do I know that? Oh, come on. I think you should believe my instincts more. How many times have they saved your ass before? <laughs> Jokes aside, you really shouldn't worry. We'll get there. And I'll use my body to keep you safe and warm the entire way. Finally, can you see it, my love? On top of that hill. Yeah, the big house made of dark wood. That's our new home. <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? Just a few more steps and our new life together officially begins. No more fighting, no more pain, just you and me. Oh, come on, let's go before I start crying and the tears freeze on my face. <laughs> you really made that strong, fierce woman into a big crybaby, did you know that? And here we are, 
The old owner said it had everything we might need, and I think he was right. A lot of space, a warm fireplace, soft beds. I specifically asked for one that had a place to put your huge piles of books, too. <laughs> You're right. It was very expensive, but I think the artifact we sold was worth the huge trouble after all. Believe me, gold won't be an issue. And I made extra sure it couldn't be traced back to us in any way. Yeah, I've been very cautious since, you know, what happened last time. And I don't want anything to bother us now, my love. There's still one part of the house I want you to see, though. Follow me. Our own bathtub. Can you believe it? I've never felt so much like royalty. Honestly, I wish we could try it right now. A hot bath would be like heaven after walking in the snow for weeks. But getting water right now would be so hard and... <laughs> Alright. I probably should have gotten used to this kind of thing at this point. And the water is already hot, too. You love showing off to me, don't you? <laughs> Let me just close the door before the steam goes away and... Time to take off these heavy winter clothes. Why am I staring at you? Really? Honey, with this weather and all this traveling, we haven't had a good fuck in weeks. Yes, I'm staring at your body like an orc looking at a piece of venison. Now get in the bath before I pin you down right here. <laughs> hmm. Oh, God, this really feels like heaven. But there's still one thing left. Mm. 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 Mm, you make me so, so happy, my love. You really do. caressing my scars. Mm, my love, you always say these things to me. That they're beautiful. That I am beautiful. Mm, it's still so hard for me to believe them, but it never fails to make me smile. I love you. Mm-hmm. But you know I totally let you win our little banter, right? No magic's really going to make you stronger than me. Oh, you don't believe me? Don't worry. I'll make sure to show you next time. <laughs> yeah, we can go rest near the fireplace now. I would love that. You can go first, though. I need to take care of something, but I promise I'll be with you in a bit, all right? I'm here now. Why are your eyes open so wide? Is it that shocking to see me in a dress? <laughs> okay, okay, I know it is. Even I was when I looked at myself in the mirror for the first time, but I'll get used to it. Now all I want to do is sit next to you and stroke this soft hair and hold your warm hands. That's so perfect, isn't it? What is it, my love? You're making that cute face you always do when you're thinking really hard about something. <laughs> oh, you're still curious about that, huh? I... I can tell you if you really want me to, but I'm a little nervous about what your reaction will be. Fine. Um, can you cast that life detection spell? I know I'm not dead silly. <laughs> Just do it and you'll understand. Trust me. Um, see anything different? There are three souls in this room, right? I knew it. <laughs> 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 mm. 
is my love. It means exactly what you're thinking. We're gonna be parents. Oh, I've been feeling a little weird lately, but I really wanted to be sure. Please tell me you're as happy as I am. I love you. I love you more than anything. I will be a family now. I wonder if our child is going to be big and strong like me, or small and cute like you. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. What matters is that they'll grow up to be a gentle and a kind person, because they'll have the best father in the world. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for everything, and I'm sorry for barely being able to speak straight. <laughs> no, it's fine. I... I really need to calm down because there's something else I want to say. <sighs> okay. Okay, I'm better now. A little. Honey, can you get up, please? I know leaving this comfy spot on the rug feels terrible, but it's important, I promise. <sighs> I... I know I told you this many times before, but I thought I could never have any of this. I grew up in a terrible place. I had a rough life as a mercenary and did a lot of things I'm not proud of in the slightest. Even after I decided to redeem myself and become a hero, I thought my entire life would be fighting until one day I simply died in battle if I was lucky, sacrificing myself for a greater good. Then I met you. <laughs> a young, talented wizard who left to explore the world as soon as he reached adulthood. So incredibly intelligent, but at the same time so naive. You always saw the world almost like a child, finding happiness and excitement in the smallest things. I couldn't understand why. Or how it was even possible. But I grew to admire you for it. Everyone was always so afraid of me. Even our other companions. Even the villagers we saved. But you... You always looked at me with that sweet, innocent smile on your face. And couldn't help fall a bit more in love with you every time you did. And now, a few years later, you're willing to give up so many things. To give up exploring the world that fascinates you so much. Just so that a brood of a woman can share a bit of your happiness. You became my darling. My little wizard. My master. My love. My everything. And you made me into so many things, too. You made me a better person. You made me feel beautiful for the first time. You made me realize I could still be happy as a woman. You gave me a family. And that's why... That's why I'm kneeling in front of you now, and... I'm sorry, I really wish I had something better than a pair of magic rings we found at a dungeon, but... I really feel like this is the moment. Will you bond with me in the eyes of the gods until our last day? Will you marry me? You will. I... <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. Um, can I kiss the groom now? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Well...